Over on Perryville Road and Indian School, Buckeye commuters dealing with the same issue day in and day out. The biggest issue is traffic. Uh, seems like everything is two lane, everything is stop sign. Residents telling us they're prepared for growth, but something's got to give. If you were to try to come back into Buckeye, let's say anywhere from 2.30 from the interstate, like from I-10, you know, it's just jam, it's just jam packed. Fire officials also keeping an eye on expansion. Currently, Buckeye has six fire stations with a seventh opening in December, manned by 135 personnel. Over the next few years, the department could be adding three more stations to meet the demand. We're the far west side, and what that means is when we get a response for a multi-unit incident, it just takes longer for help to get here. If you're driving out the I-10, that's where all my help is coming from, as well as our city department. Monday night, city leaders hosting an info meeting on a $282 million bond voters will decide on. It'll fund public safety and street improvements through a secondary property tax. It's the first bond election held in Buckeye in nearly 40 years. While growth doesn't scare them, at least one resident says he'll miss the small town feel. We moved out to Buckeye because it has a Midwest feel, you know, tree-lined streets, front porches, and a mailbox. Reporting in Buckeye, Josh Cristiano, ABC 15, Arizona.